Adam, what are these two scooters behind us? These are the E50 and E35. Adam, what's the difference between the E50 and the E35? So the E35 is the entry level scooter. It's lighter, it's easy to carry around with you, take it anywhere, get around the city. The E50 is the heavier duty model. It's got a more powerful motor and it's got suspension as well. Why would somebody want the E50 over the E35 or vice versa? So the E50 really can do anything an e-bike can do. It has the dual suspension, so it's great on all sorts of different roads. It's got lots of range, lots of power. It can climb 35% grade hills, can get you all over the city and back. E35 is better for when you're commuting around, you're not sure where you're gonna end up. Maybe you're going to school or work. You wanna be able to take it inside with you, take it on the bus, on the train. It's really versatile that way. If you were an Uber delivery person, the E50 would probably be a better tool for you. Yeah, the E50 is the best for, you know, if you're gonna be riding it for hours, you want that suspension, you want the range, you want the power. Does anyone have to be concerned about it from a weather perspective? They're totally weatherproof. They're designed for all weather. They have air-filled rubber tires, so you got good grip. You don't have to worry about that. How is the E50 and the E35 position in the marketplace versus other scooters? On? Yeah, there are tons of scooters out there from the high end to the low end, everything in between. What we were looking for was a scooter that had all of the features we wanted at the price we wanted. And also there's a sort of a gap in the market in that there are a lot of scooters that you can only buy online. And if something breaks, if you have a problem with it, there's not much you can do. Because we're here in North America, we have a warehouse where we can do maintenance and we can actually follow up and maintain a relationship. So the E50 scooter has a pretty extensive list of features. What are these? It's got dual suspension. It's got disc brakes. It's got a 500 watt motor, which is tons of power. It's got a really big battery, about 50 kilometers of range. It can take you up a 35% grade hill, and it's got a top speed around 32 kilometers an hour, just like any bike. And what are some of the features on the E35? So the E35 has 350 watt motor. It's got about 40 kilometers of range. It doesn't have the front suspension like the E50, but it does still have rear suspension, which gives you a nice comfortable ride. And it's quite a bit lighter, so it's great for portability. One of the big advantages of a scooter versus an e-bike is compactness of it, right? How do they compare? So both scooters allow you to fold the handle down. So portable, you can bring it inside with you, you can bring it on the bus, on the train. If you're going to work, you can put it under your desk and charge it or whatever. The E50 is a little heavier, so it's a little more difficult to carry up a bunch of stairs but the E35 is, is much better for that. Let's talk about the design of the scooters. Both of them look really great. What are some of the outlying design features? Both these scooters have die-cast aluminum frame, give it a really good look. They've got integrated screens and the suspension on the E50 is really tight in. Overall, they're just meant to have all the features you want in a really sleek package. Let's just talk scooters in general. Who's buying scooters? Why are they buying scooters? Why scooters versus e-bikes? There's all sorts of different people buying scooters. I think they're still growing uh, as people get more familiar with them. They're often used, as you mentioned, by food delivery people. They're great for that. They're great for anyone who wants to get around in a convenient, quick way, but if, is not as comfortable on a bike. They're also great, as we mentioned earlier, with the E35 in particular. If you're gonna be on multimodal transit, they allow you to move really freely throughout the city and not have to worry about locking it up like you would with a bike or parking it like you would with a car. And let's talk Envo Drive Systems, the E35, E50 versus any other scooter on the market. They look great, but what is the biggest advantage? Why choose these over something else? Now? Yeah, it's about the complete package. So we offer all the features you might want at a really great price. How it, was it possible to put all of these high-end features in a package that's at such an affordable price point? We worked with an OEM to develop these scooters that allowed us to choose the exact features we wanted and make the scooter we wanted at the price we wanted. By putting in that extra work to really nail down exactly what we wanted, we were able to really get the best deal for everyone. By using an OEM, you're able to really pick and choose, but you're also taking an engineering and a design eye so that what you're delivering is an elite luxury package, but at a price point because you're able to streamline the selection process because you know what matters and what doesn't. That's right. We knew what features we wanted. We knew how we wanted the scooter to perform. As we mentioned, because we're also here to maintain and, and repair them, we knew we wanted high quality. What should people be looking for when they're buying a scooter and shopping for a scooter? And how does Envo fit into the picture? 
I think there are a lot of different niches for types of scooters. When you're shopping, you want to look for a scooter that has the features you need at the price point you are looking for. At Envo, we really focused on two different categories of scooters and tried to make them the best that they can be at a low price. What is the difference between a $6,000, a $3,000, and a $300 scooter? And where does Envo fit in that matrix? There are scooters all across that range. Some of them don't last very long. They don't work very well at the low end. And yeah, at the high end, you can, you can get really high. What Envo is aiming for is a scooter that fills essentially all the functionality you could get from a scooter of any price and really is as powerful as they're allowed to be in most areas. But we're offering that high quality product at a reasonable price. E50 or E35 kind of guy, who are you? For me, I think I'm actually an E35 guy. I like to go all sorts of different places, but I also want to be able to have that portability. I live in a small condo, so it helped to bring it around with me, take it on the train, that sort of thing. But 